Hello and welcome to Great American Ballpark in Cincinnati, Ohio, the site of the 86th annual Major League Baseball All-Star Game. Alongside Mark Koontz, I'm Matt Finkel. This is WOSN's All-Star Game special. Proud to bring it to you. And Mark, it's been a while since the All-Star Game has been in Cincinnati. Yeah, the last time the All-Star Game was in Cincinnati, that little guy wasn't even a thought yet. It's I been wasn't born yet either. 27 years since the All-Star Game has been in Cincinnati, which when you think about it, Major League Baseball, professional baseball, began in Cincinnati in the 1860s. That's why you're seeing the, the pillbox hat, the mustache, is evocative of that early era of professional baseball. Yet Cincinnati has only hosted the All-Star Game five times. 1938, 53, 70, and 88, both at Riverfront, and now for the first time here at Great American Ballpark. So 27 years, that's a long time. You can understand the excitement about having the Midsummer Classic return to the Queen City ceramic mustaches and the billboards and the flags and the people with their red stuff or their all-star, their national or American League jersey on, the hats. Uh, the city's alive. Music playing over in Newport and people setting up for big parties on the banks of the Ohio River. The Castellanis and people of Cincinnati should be very proud of the way that they've handled this uh, huge undertaking because it's been, the, the city's alive and it's great to see it. I mean, I've been a Reds fan my whole life and uh, too young to remember the All-Star game back in the day when Pete played in it. So uh, to see it be able to come back, you know, I remember uh, at uh, Great American Ball or at uh, Riverfront uh, with Sabo and those guys. But this is cool. It's it's nice for the city, and especially when the year isn't going that great for the Reds, it gives them some excitement. Oh, I love Cincinnati, and uh, I grew up watching the Reds in Old Riverfront Stadium. So every time I get a chance to come back, I love doing it. This is beautiful. I mean, you know, it's taken so long, and I'm glad it's back. But uh, it's fabulous what the Reds organization, the Castellini family, have done, as well as the whole city, the whole of Cincinnati, just performing and making everything all festive and things of this nature. So it's exciting for the whole city and, and, and for ex-players and legends and stuff like that. We just go enjoy it. Such tradition here in Cincinnati, and uh, you know, so many great players, so many great games have been here in Cincy, and. You know, if any city's deserving, any fans are deserving, any you know, deserving here in Cincinnati for this game to be back here. I yeah, played here in Cincinnati. I think it was 80, 88 or 89. Uh, just coming here was like a dream, dream come true for me as a kid because I was kind of a Reds fan growing up. So it was kind of like being able to play in Riverfront. At the, I think it was Riverfront at that point. Uh, was really exciting for me. Uh, and to be close to home. You know, I'm able to come here, be around these guys, but also be able to get home for a couple days too. Staying in the state, um, it's a good place to play. I think it's gonna be a fun time here. It's a great stadium. Uh, I'm excited to watch some of these play guys play. You know what, it's exciting because I think, I, I know for the guys here, this is a special place to play. And it always was and has been. And as a result, it's a very special place to me to be a part of the all-star festivities in a small way here um, this is a I feel like a little kid today we're proud of our city every day of the year but uh, you know on a week like this it just kind of puts it all in perspective it's great to be you know be able to host this have uh, people in from all over the world to be a part of uh, all-star weeks if you hear some guys are probably gonna say this is one of the best ones they've been to in a long time if you've been here as long as I've been here I, I first came here in 83 and I've seen when none of this was down here, again, and I've watched this progress as a city, uh, as an organization. So the, the ones who understand that are very, very proud. Can I can remember just pulling out of the park here when the when the when the Great American was built, and just uh, nothing was here. You know, it was really nothing. Now it's like so developed. You know, all the apartments and the breweries and all the spars, and it's just a happening place. And uh, I wish I played here now. <laughs> that would be good. Albert Pujols, Andrew McCutcheon, Mark Deshaw, Clayton Kershaw. Between the four of them, they've won five MVPs, a Cy Young, several World Series titles, and they're no strangers to the All-Star game. But when we talked to them earlier this week, they said being a baseball player, being an All-Star, doesn't define them. Being a Christian is what defines them and what is most important in their life. Everything. Um, that's why I'm here. You know, if I wouldn't have that faith and that relationship that we that I have with the Lord, uh, I wouldn't be here today. Uh, you know, because I, I had so many challenges through through life, like everybody else, and because my faith, you know, and believing in Him, that through injuries and through Him, I can do all things. Uh, I'm standing here today uh, and having fun and doing the things that I love to do, and that's playing baseball. I feel a great source of uh, growth and. In my in my Christian faith and um, just growing uh, 
um, just on an everyday basis and not only on the field but off and uh, you know the game is a great game and I really love playing the game but that's not what's most important to me and I, I, I do th I do feel and believe that that's that's helping me as a ball player on the field to be able to perform um, at a high level and to be able to do it on a consistent basis uh, um, and uh, I definitely think that's that's helping. There's a lot of people that care about baseball, so it's a, it's a great platform to have built in right there. So uh, able to uh, kind of show what your life really means and what the the purpose of it, as far as yours concerned, in baseball, and uh, it's just uh, it's just a really cool platform. It's awesome. You know, I was fortunate. I grew up in a home that uh, you know we talked about Jesus, went to church, things like that, and um, just kind of started um, really taking into consideration, you know, in high school what it meant, and um, you know, I kind of say high school is kind of when I came to know him. A couple years ago, after my surgery, I kind of I gave my career to God and said, "Listen, whatever your plan is, whatever your will is, I'll, I'll accept it." Uh, now I worked really hard uh, in the meantime and said a lot of prayers in the meantime, but my faith was very important in getting me through uh, a tough two seasons with the wrist surgery. Uh, just being me, that's, that's the biggest thing. Not, you know, you can't, I, sometimes I, I struggle with uh, am I doing enough, do I need to do more? Um, you know, I, I struggle with that a little bit, but um, I think I'm starting to learn that just being myself and, and going out there and, and, and um, you know, doing the right thing and, and uh, people see that and that you, um, you, you're changing people's lives just by, just by living, just by playing the game and by doing, uh, by playing the, the game that, uh, you know, using the gift that God gave you. You know, just try to be a, a positive person, always look at the bright side of things and never get too down. Um, understanding that, uh, you know, life is about more than baseball. And, you know, when I'm on the field, I give it my all. I give it 100 percent. But, you know, my faith and, and my family at home are, are the most important things in my life. And I think that's allowed me to have a, a long, successful career. Whether I have to say or struggle, the Lord is always there for me. Whether I go off for four or five for five, you know, I stay focused on my relationship and what I do uh, because I still have a responsibility to go home and, and, and have a, being a parent to five kids and be a husband to my wife. So, you know, I, I try not to get too caught up. I just you know, try to enjoy the game that He has given me. And, uh, you know, this is an outlet that He has given me so I can share the gospel and, 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 and share my testimony with other people. I I always say my favorite one's Colossians 3.23. Yeah, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. It's working for the Lord, not for men. Certainly wise words from the Bible through Clayton Kershaw and Matt. Great to talk to those guys and really have a chance to talk to some folks, some baseball players who have had the ultimate success but are grounded and know it's really important. Yeah, it's interesting to see you look up to these people as heroes and their hero is still God and that's so important and such a great message for everyone to learn and understand and, th and they have the forum to teach others to do that. It's really a great, great thing to see. Well, we're just getting started here on our All-Star Game special. Coming up, we're going to talk about Pete Rose, the Reds legend, and check in with the Reds and Indians about their second halves. Stay with us. <laughs> 